In our sky is this one bulb or beetle juice. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous and very unstable it's about to explode. Get ready for a cosmic disaster of never before seen scale. Betelgeuse the red giant star on the edge of our galaxy is sending scary signs through space. Astronomers have found something deeply troubling about this huge object in space using the James Webb Space Telescope. Well-known scientist Brian Cox has issued a very serious warning. The question that keeps coming up is, we about to see a supernova explosion that will be so huge that it will change the night sky forever let's jump right in. In the vastness of the universe stars are born live and die in amazing ways. Recently one star has caught the attention and worry of both astronomers and regular people. This is Betelgeuse a red supergiant star that stands out in the constellation Orion. It is very big and very old. Its unique reddish color and changing brightness have long been interesting but recent events have made people even more interested in this cosmic giant. As we learn more about Betelgeuse we are on the verge of a potentially extremely important event in its history. But what might these changes in Betelgeuse mean are we seeing the start of a cosmic show on an unimaginably huge scale? Betelgeuse is a stellar giant. It is about 764 times bigger than our sun. It is so huge that it's hard for humans to understand. Imagine a star that is so big that if it were to replace our sun its surface would reach beyond Mars orbit and wrap around Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Not only does this huge size show how amazing Betelgeuse is physically but it also shows what stage of its life cycle it is in. As a red supergiant Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. It is expanding and cooling during this phase which comes after turning hydrogen into helium in its core. What about Betelgeuse's age though this star is thought to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old which is pretty new in human years but very old in terms of stellar lives. It has been changing dramatically over millions of years going from a hot blue star to the red giant we see today. It is now in its final stage as a red supergiant. Stars like Betelgeuse change over the course of their lives which is caused by the constant pressures of nuclear fusion and gravity. Another thing that makes this stage of Betelgeuse stand out is its unique reddish color. Its red color comes from the fact that its surface is cooler than the surfaces of other stars like our sun. The surface of the sun is about 5,500 Kelvin hot while the surface of Betelgeuse is about 3,500 Kelvin cold. Because it is cooler Betelgeuse can give off light at wavelengths that make it look red. But this color ISNT just a look it tells us something about the star's physical state and the processes going on inside its huge gaseous volume. The fact that Betelgeuse's color has changed over time adds to its mystery. Writings from the Roman and Chinese eras say that Betelgeuse was yellow about 2000 years ago. In the 9th century Arabic experts were the first to say that it was red. This change in color over the course of human history is not just a small fact in the history of science it also shows how the star evolved. Another interesting thing about Betelgeuse is that its brightness changes over time. It's a semi-regular variable star which means that its brightness goes up and down on a regular basis. This dance of brightness has fascinated scientists and skywatchers for hundreds of years. Usually Betelgeuse goes through a 400-day cycle and a longer cycle that lasts for five years. As early as 1836 Sir John Herschel wrote about these cycles and Aboriginal folk histories may go back even further. But what really makes Betelgeuse mysterious is not just how its brightness changes but also how uneven it is. Unlike many stars that dim and brighten in a predictable way Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from this pattern. This suggests that complicated and less well understood processes are happening inside its huge form. Recently astronomers and stargazers all over the world were shocked to see Betelgeuse's appearance change dramatically and unexpectedly. This is now known as the Great Dimming. In late 2019 the red supergiant Betelgeuse one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of the constellation Orion started to dim in a mysterious way. The star was getting so dim that it started losing its light at a rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day on average. In February 2020 it was at its dimmest. Betelgeuse which can usually be seen with the naked eye even in places with a lot of light pollution got much fainter and even casual viewers could see the difference. 
The time paradox on the other hand makes it hard to keep an eye on what Betelgeuse is doing because light takes so long to get to us. When we look at a star like Betelgeuse, we don't see it as it is now, but as it had been in the past. For Betelgeuse the light we see today left the star almost 700 years ago because it is about 725 light years away. Because we are looking into the past of the star this time lag makes it hard to predict and keep an eye on quick changes in its behavior. The Betelgeuse lowering event was a reminder of how hard it is to observe the sky in real time and how little we know about the big strange worlds of space and time that they create. Andrea Dupree Deputy Director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian and her team closely watched the events of Betelgeuse celestial drama as part of a three-year study to track changes in Betelgeuse outer atmosphere. They used Hubble to look at the huge star. These observations gave a new look into how a variable star like Betelgeuse works. Variable stars regularly get bigger and smaller which causes changes in how bright they are. Researchers were able to look into the layers above the star's surface which were heated in part by the star's swirling convection cells thanks to Hubble's sensitivity to ultraviolet light. More study of the Hubble spectra which were taken at different times in 2019 and 2020 helped figure out how fast things were moving in the upper atmosphere of Betelgeuse. The spectra were mostly made up of magnesium-2 lines which show what the star's atmosphere is like. The studies showed that things were moving from the star's surface into its atmosphere at about 200,000 miles per hour. This hot dense stuff finally reached millions of miles away from Betelgeuse. It was the start of the dust cloud that made the star less bright during the three months of the outburst. Dupree and her team thought that about twice as much material as usual from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere was lost. While all stars lose mass over time Betelgeuse's loss was especially noticeable because it happened at a much faster rate than the sun's. Astronomers talked about whether this event could be a sign of a supernova explosion because of how big this mass release was and how dim it became afterward. Being only about 725 light years away from Earth Betelgeuse adds to the mystery because any explosion like this would be visible from Earth and give people a rare chance to see a supernova up close. But the question still stands. What does this lowering mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign that a supernova is about to happen, or is it just a one time event in the star's long and complicated life? Several ideas were put forward to explain this quick change. One popular theory said that there was a stage in the process of a supernova explosion. This idea caught on because most people think that Betelgeuse is almost done with its life. Another common idea is that dust maybe from the star itself is blocking our view. It is known that Betelgeuse and other red supergiants lose stuff. It was thought that this stuff could build up into a dust cloud thick enough to block our view of the star's light. A third idea looked at how changes in the star's photosphere the visible layer on the outside might have an effect on how bright it seems. This puzzle was solved by using a lot of different observational methods and in-depth analysis. Spectroscopic studies showed that Betelgeuse's effective temperature dropped. This suggests that the star may be dimming because of a big dark spot on its surface. The fact that Betelgeuse's temperature dropped by at least 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming supported this idea. This showed that there were big changes on the star's surface. In the end the Hubble Space Telescope which is humankind's watchdog in space helped us figure out what was going on with this strange event. Hubble's view showed that the dimming of Betelgeuse was probably due to a large amount of hot matter being thrown into space. This stuff made a cloud of dust that covered up some of the star's surface, which meant that less light from Betelgeuse reached us. It was thought that the dust cloud was made of very hot plasma that erupted from a big convection cell on the star's surface and moved through its hot atmosphere to the cooler layers on the outside. It formed dust grains as it cooled making a cloud that blocked light from about a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic studies, which began in January 2001. Nine showed signs of thick heated plasma moving through the star's atmosphere in September, October, and November 2019. The stuff was moving out through the visible surface in December 2019. When the photosphere cooled down it made it possible for the plasma to condense into dust which caused the big darkening that was seen from Earth. Since Betelgeuse has lost matter many times over its life it is not surprising that it was able to make this complicated and quick dimming event. Betelgeuse has started to get brighter again and it looks like it is getting back to its normal level. 
As scientists keep looking at it and other huge stars, they hope to learn more about how stars live and die. This could tell us a lot about how the universe works. The 2019-2020 dimming event and the start of the new brightening phase make it even more important to keep an eye on Betelgeuse. This star continues to surprise and fascinate us with its huge size complex processes and changing brightness. The huge amount of data from Hubble as well as from other telescopes like ALMA and the Very Large Telescope, VLT, has given us new insights into what may happen in the future. Betelgeuse will eventually go supernova but that won't happen for at least 100,000 years. When it does happen the event will be both amazing and very important. With the new James Webb Space Telescope in place scientists are now able to look at Betelgeuse and other similar stars in ways that were never possible before. With its unmatched accuracy and range of wavelength observations the James Webb Space Telescope is well equipped to study the complex behavior of Betelgeuse and its surroundings. Astronomers like Andrea Dupree use these high-tech instruments to learn more about how red supergiants work and what happens when they finally explode. One of the things that the James Webb Space Telescope can do best is look at Betelgeuse in infrared light. Because Betelgeuse is a red supergiant it gives off a lot of energy in the infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This part of the spectrum is where the James Webb Space Telescope shines so it is perfect for studying the star's complex behavior. When it comes to finding out how old Betelgeuse is infrared observations are very important. They can look at things that are too far away or too weak for optical telescopes to see. The James Webb Space Telescope's instruments are so sensitive that they can find and describe the faint infrared light from Betelgeuse. This gives us more information about its current state and how it is changing. The James Webb Space Telescope can look at things like the distribution of dust and gas around the star. This can help scientists figure out what causes Betelgeuse's periodic dimming and brightening. In turn this information could be very important for figuring out when the star will go supernova. Also the James Webb Space Telescope's powerful spectrographs can study the star's light at different wavelengths to learn more about its composition temperature and other physical properties. By looking at how these properties change over time scientists can learn more about the processes going on inside Betelgeuse and get a better idea of what the star's future holds. But Betelgeuse ISNT, the only thing the James Webb Space Telescope is looking at. It is also looking at other red supergiants and stars in different stages of their lives. This gives us a more complete picture of how these celestial bodies work and how they change over time. Scientists are learning about the complicated life cycles of stars from their birth in nebulae to their deaths in supernovae. They are also learning about the important role stars play in the cycle of matter and energy in the universe. Scientists are getting a better grasp on the life cycles of stars and their eventual deaths which helps them figure out when a star like Betelgeuse might go supernova. With the James Webb Space Telescope's unprecedented capabilities, we are now on the brink of a new era of discovery that could answer some of the most pressing questions about the cosmos. As Betelgeuse continues to capture the attention and imagination of astronomers and the public alike it stands as a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe. Betelgeuse's story is far from over. Its future is still full of mystery and wonder. As we keep an eye on this celestial giant and learn more about its behavior we also learn more about the bigger universe we live in and our place in it. The study of Betelgeuse is an ongoing adventure a story of cosmic wonder and a reminder of the amazing things that happen in the night sky that are still being revealed.